Taurus, welcome to your weekly love reading. I would like to start out the reading by saying that all of these messages may not resonate with everyone because these are general readings. And everything that happens in this reading may not pertain to you. This is a general reading. So I invite you to take a look at the videos for your sun. I'm sorry, this would be your sun sign, wouldn't it? Take a look at the videos for your moon and rising signs. And you may find the video that is intended for you there if you find that this message is not for you. So, with that said, let's get right into your reading. Ten of Wands. Okay, so there's some type of an ending that's coming up. Someone is feeling stressed beyond belief. And they're ready to let go of this burden. So your first card for your reading is the Nine of Cups in Reverse. This is someone that is greedy, arrogant, or may have a drinking problem. And may be a bit stubborn. But the Chariot, some of you are moving on, or moving away, moving house, or maybe getting a new car. The Knight of Cups in reverse. So there's some type of an offer that's trying to come your way that you, um, a message of love that came your way that you probably turned down. And I'm feeling like this might be because you're not ready to love again. Because you have the Five of Cups here and you're feeling very stuck in the past and you've got a lot of baggage that you're dealing with. And you're, you're not so sure about which way you want to go because you're stuck between two paths. Yeah, you're turning down these messages of, of, of love and creativity. You're feeling emotionally detached. And you're feeling very cynical about love and you're ready to cut someone out because they, they no longer benefit your life anymore. They, they no longer value what it is that you bring to the table. Because all they can bring you is a one night stand, friends with benefits type of energy, and you want something more stable. So you're ready to walk away from this relationship. And you're ready to build and work on yourself. Or, some of you might be getting jobs, a job offer, or some, some message about money that's coming through. So next we have the Five of Pentacles. So with this card being here, I feel like Five of Pentacles, there's losses in their gains. Um, this is a time of feeling like you're coming out of being left out in the cold. And we got the Three of Cups. There could be some celebrations where you could have your friends trying to cheer you up with this Five of Cups energy that you're feeling over here. You might have your friends come over and throw you a party, try to make you happy. But I feel strongly that this Three of Cups is here because there is a three-party situation, especially with the Two of Pentacles be beside it. And this could be why you're sad and why you're ready to move away. The Ace of Cups is here in reverse. So this is some type of a, a, a new, not this situation, excluding this situation that you're in right now. This is a new love that's trying to come through. But I feel like some of you have rejected that love, like I said, because you're you're going through so much, and you're you're, you're starting to um, recover from this time. Mhm. Mm Recovery, because some of you could be dealing with an alcoholic. Some of you could be going to rehab, but you feel like your relationship is dissipating. It's falling apart. It's crumbling. because of this juggling. And then we got the Empress in reverse. So some of you are dealing with them in Aries or some of you could have had a miscarriage. Could also mean that you're just not um, feeling like yourself anymore. You feel um, like you've lost yourself in this relationship and you feel like you, you undervalue yourself as well as your partner. Some of you could be dealing with your a mother of your child, or um, um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Well, Taurus, this is your reading. 
So this could be you taking on this energy of someone that is down to earth and practical with money. But you're feeling a lot of heartbreak right now, which is why the Empress might be in reverse. Just really questioning your value and your beauty. The Eight of Pentacles is where you have gotten to the point that you are tired of working on this situation. You feel like you're working on it by yourself and your, pa your, your patience is wearing thin and you feel as though your partner is not bringing anything to the table. You are doing all of the work to try to keep this relationship going. And with the Seven of Wands, you are backing down, you're standing your ground and you're feeling like you have to build walls to protect yourself against your own partner. Then we've got the Ace of Swords. This is mental clarity. So with the past clouding your judgment over here, you're, you're finding a way to get focused and get mental clarity and get the truth about the situation because you feel like you've been deceived. Because your partner is dealing with their ex with the Six of Cups in reverse. There's a, um, a reunion either you're going to have with an ex because we've got three reun two reunion cards, the, the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups. So your next card is the Queen of Cups. Okay, some of you are left in limbo. You're not sure what to do. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius. You're feeling hopeful. Queen of Cups talks about someone who is very emotionally sensitive. Um, very emotionally unstable as well and can be a bit manipulative and, and mistrustful. And we got the three of wands. Someone's not making a decision about a love situation, about someone who is very manipulative and might have a drinking problem. Knight of Pentacles, things are uh, very slow moving right now. They could be very uh, slow and methodical about um, a money situation, like some plans unfolding. You could be planning something, and like I said, just be very going very slow, but diligent, because I got perseverance here. You're continuing to move forward, no matter how it is that you feel, no matter how many losses that you may have gone through. I see that you're still able to move forward. And you're still able to build yourself up. Otherwise, there's a message coming in about money, maybe a job, but there's an ending. There's an ending to this relationship, and there's another woman in the middle of the relationship or another person, um, depending on you know whether you're male or female. So we've got the Ace of Cups. This could be where you're traveling to with this six of with this chariot. If I didn't say it already, you could be dealing with the zodiac sign of cancer. But with this chariot, you may be deciding to travel to see your ex, to reunite with them. And your partner might feel like they lost you. They're feeling some guilt and resentment about what happened and the way things played out. And the fact that you pulled them in to be a part of this three-party situation. And please don't be offended if I say you. I'm referring to you because this is your reading. It could be your partner that that um, initiated the three-party situation. Ten of Wands, so you're over it. You're just too, you're tired of carrying all the weight and doing everything in this relationship. So you're ready to let it go. I feel like you wasted your time, but you're still being strong. And you had a tower moment where all of this came out because your partner was being very secretive. But your intuition was telling you all along. You did have a moment of confusion, but with the high priestess here, you were able to um, to gain this mental clarity by listening to your intuition. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Sagittarius with the Temperance card there. But there's a lot of emotional imbalance that's going on, and you're trying to, like I said, um, pull yourself back together. Someone wants to give you a cup of love. Hopefully it's not this person that you're involved with right now because their attention is diverted here with the Two of Pentacles. They're thinking about their ex. 
and they're making plans, saving up money so they can make this trip. I need some of you feel humiliated and hurt. But you're glad that you got the truth because you're being strong there with the strength card. And um, your partner was exploring their options all along. Exploring their options, meaning that they were thinking the grass was greener on the other side. And you've got somebody that was maybe robbing you, um, gold digger. Not this someone that's robbing you of your emotions, of your time, of your self-value. But I see that you're going to be alright because you got the Six of Wands. You're feeling valued. You're feeling like you've got a victory in this situation. Maybe you feel like you got a victory because you're leaving this person that made you a part of a three-party situation. Or you're feeling victorious because you feel that this relationship was a waste of your time anyway. And you feel like your ex offers much more than what your current situation offers. So Leo, this does it for your... I don't know why I said Leo. Some of you are involved with Leo, but this is definitely a Taurus video, so forgive me for the confusion. But I said Leo because I saw the strength card here, and this represents the zodiac sign of Leo. I happened to glance over at it while I was talking. So Taurus, this does it for your weekly love reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so by contacting me on my website at Angelic Ascensions tarot.com or you can contact me by email at angelicascensionstarot at gmail.com again if this message was not for you if it did not resonate if you did not connect with this message please take a look at the videos for your moon and rising signs and thanks again for all of you who have donated and for all of you who have returned to the channel thank you for keeping the channel going and for those of you who are new welcome to the channel these are weekly videos, and I will see you again next week. Bye for now. Taurus.